Well, this was a big budget, lots of new stuff in here, far bigger, far chunkier than the budget we saw back in March in terms of new policies. I want to just talk you through a few of them. Obviously, public sector pay, that's being capped. Underneath these, this is child, the child benefit limit, and there's lots of these welfare policies. Underneath these, what we've got is we show you how much they either raise money coming into the Treasury or they cost. And you can see these, this is one of the welfare uh, policies, reducing child benefit to two children. That's bringing in 300 million uh, in 2017 and bringing in about a billion by 2019 20. Similar story with the benefits cap. Reducing that brings in about 400 million a year. Buy to let, getting rid of that tax break or reducing the tax break for buy to let landlords brings in money. Not all that much, but it certainly brings in money. But come over have, here, have a look. Via housing benefit, which brings in a bit more cash, to this working age benefits being frozen. Just look, by 2019 20, that brings into the government 3.9 billion pounds from those tax credits and local housing changes. Big changes there. It's not just about money coming in. There is a bit of money going out as well. Let's just have a look at some of those policies here. Tax thresholds raised. We knew this was going to happen. It was being leaked in advance. Perhaps not quite as much uh, as eventually happened. But you can see this is money going out of the exchequer, out into the economy. One billion uh, next year, all the way through to 1.4 by 2019. 20 come over here the national the new living wage by the way it's not costed because they're not really it's not a direct budget policy that's going to change the economy though but that will be positive for many families and many workers although we're not quite sure of the costings of it yet corporation tax that's going to cost the, the government money bringing putting money into the economy because they are getting less in the way of corporation tax similar thing for inheritance tax down here, money going out because you're getting a bit less in the way of inheritance tax bills if you're paying it. Defence spending, we know about that commitment. And finally, non-DOM status. Doesn't really bring in all that much cash. Actually, it's going to cost a bit uh, in the next few years. But um, it doesn't bring in quite as much as some of those welfare policies. What's the upshot of all of this? Let's take all of those policy decisions. There are more than we had there. Like I said, this was a big budget. And look up at there. At the very top, total policy decisions. The up arrows mean money is going into the exchequer from 9 billion next year all the way through to 18.9 billion pounds brought in to the exchequer as a result of this budget. It's not quite as big as we saw in 2010. Remember the emergency budget in 2010, that brought in about 40 billion by the, the end of the five-year horizon. But it's big. This is a big budget with a lot of money going into the exchequer, largely thanks to those welfare cuts.